Well, six years ago, a Devon-based inventor came up with a theory. He claimed that serious illnesses could be cured simply by sleeping in a different position. Many people say their health has miraculously improved because of Andrew Fletcher's sloping bed, but he still faces an uphill struggle to convince the medical profession. Tim Ardell reports for tonight's Insight. John Can was paralysed from a back injury. Until recently, he couldn't feel any movement in his legs, and getting out of bed was a real challenge. Today, John Can is meeting the man whose simple invention has transformed his life. Andrew Fletcher claimed by raising the top of his bed by just six inches, John would show signs of improvement. He's now walking tall for the first time in 10 years. I bought the blocks. They were £1.82 at a builder's merchant. Um, two 8-inch blocks and two 4-inch blocks. I put, uh, took the casters off and put them at the 8-inch blocks at the top of the head, uh, head of the bed, and the 4-inch block in the middle, and the casters are taken off the bottom, which went onto the floor. And that is exactly what happened, and that is what has cured me. Andrew Fletcher has no medical background. But when the former engineer moved from the Midlands to Paynton, he came up with a theory that sleeping at a slight angle can have a radical effect on our health. Well, people should sleep in a tilted position because it keeps the circulation going in the body throughout, throughout a 24-hour period. When we lie on a flat bed, we're ignoring gravity, and gravity has a profound effect on circulation. So simply elevating the head of the bed enables gravity to run through the body's fluids from head to toe 24 hours a day. And that appears to be sufficient to reverse spinal cord injuries. In 1997, Andrew won a gold award at the International Inventions Fair in London. His sloping bed has attracted attention from organisations across the world, including NASA and the centre in California which treated the Superman star Christopher Reeve. In this country, Andrew's theory has given new hope to sufferers of MS. I use the analogy of a lot of people go to church every Sunday or go to other religions um, and they find that does them a lot of good and makes a difference to their lives. There is no medical proof of that. But, but who would anybody be to turn around and say, no, you mustn't do that because there's no proof. If it helps, let's get everybody trying it. Despite encouragement from his volunteers, Andrew Fletcher has largely failed to convince the medical profession. Sales of his sloping bed have been sluggish and the former boilermaker has fought a constant battle to be taken seriously. The hardest condition that I'm having to treat at the moment is scepticism. The problem is the idea is so simple it can't possibly be true, but that is a gross error. It is true and it does work. Andrew Fletcher says he's not motivated by money, he just wants recognition for his work. Right, puss, time for bed. One day, he predicts, most of us will be sleeping on a slope and we'll be able to improve our health without getting out of bed. We're going to get Mark out of bed for the sport in a moment, but first more news from where you live, from our reporters in the regions, uh, in their own studios.